away to his left. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. On play action, now Rodgers. Hunter Henry brings it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 36. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Following the interception, Mayfield being chased out left. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain and now second down. Throwing, Mayfield escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Mayfield, they'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards and a first. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. First down, Mayfield. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards, first down, Packers. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Call it a gain of 4 on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of 4. It's now second down. Mayfield now on the move to his left. Nine-yard line. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked off down at the two, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Take over. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. He's going to take off with it. Now Mayfield lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's good for 28 yards. at the 42-yard line. They fake the give, now Rodgers. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 20. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. 
But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Mayfield looks to throw, eluding the pressure right. Throwing deep for Galladay. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Mayfield picked off at the 45. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. On play action, it's Rodgers. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. Rogers, a great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. And one. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. A final shot before half for Rodgers. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to... And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by DeMont. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Devontae Casey. Rogers pass. Intercepted. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Rolling to his right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. The keeper. A gain of five brings up second and five. The From the gun, Mayfield. Throw left side, complete. It's Bell. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 26 and a first down. First and ten at the 23 yard. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. He'll buy some time right. That's complete to his running back, Camara. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Mayfield with it once more. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From 17 yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Score Packers 13, Rams 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. 
at their own 27-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 more on that one and another first down. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. On first down, Archer. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Brings up third and seven. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Rolling to his left. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on four. They'll try it now with Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams have tied the game with the extra point to come. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away from the six. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. At their own 33-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Mayfield on first down. Flushed out right. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he will finally go out of bounds, but not before he takes it down to the 25. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 43 yards. 25-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and 10, Mayfield. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. They'll go again with Bell. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. To throw, Mayfield sliding out of the pocket. And this is going to be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. He's got the lane, and there he goes. He's at the 30, past the 20. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown.